Hey, so what's up? Hi, Sylvan. Regarding the travel request app that we built on yeah. ServiceNow, it has been really great. Um, the one issue is that the turnaround time in processing these requests are taking much longer than expected. Our employees need to travel really urgently at times, and so we need to automate this even further. Here, I'll, I'll show you. I've used process mining to figure out where the bottlenecks are, and actually tagged you in one of the processes here. The issue is within the approvals. It now takes on average five days to process, which is too long. What I found out was that our internal staff are not having enough resources to execute on approvals, and there are many checkpoints that they have to process in order to approve the request. So I'm coming to you for help. Any ideas on how mm -hmm. we can make this better? It's actually perfect timing. We're just upgrading our service now instance to enable the workflow data fabric and AI agents. That it means that we can build an agent to take care of this travel request approval if you want. And we can use it um, with everything that we have on the platform today. That sounds great. How soon can we get something like that? What about doing it right now? Do you have the approval steps, for example, to know exactly what's happening after someone submitted a request? Yeah, of course. So I have it actually documented in a knowledge base article. I'll pull this up. Okay. Basically, they need to get the employees travel balances from a shared spreadsheet that we maintain. Then we have to communicate with the travel agency to generate a quote to see the estimated airfare. Um, and if that's less than the allowable amount, if not additional approval is required. Then we also do have to check other options like high-risk countries in the travel list and visa requirements for our employees. So these rules change pretty frequently, so it's hard to keep up without constantly referring to all the different policies that we maintain. Oof, wow, um, that's way more steps than I was expecting. Um, but actually, it would be perfect for an agent to handle. Actually, the agents are working best when they have everything under the same platform the data, the workflows, and the high skill. So let's focus on the data first, and then we will bring the agent to life. Can you show me again that spreadsheet? Yeah, I have that ready. It's right here. So we put it in Google Docs as we have external contractors that need to access this as well. But I'm wondering how do you actually get this info to the AI agent? Well, actually, it's very easy. Since we have the data in the Google Sheet, we can use the uh, out-of-the-box connector that is coming with Workflow Data Fabric. I think they have about 200 of them. And next, we just have to create a quick flow that the agent will use. So let's do it together. Okay, let me insert the get cell value action. You give me the Google Sheet ID that has in inserting here. And let me run a test. And yeah, we are getting the right values. It means now the agent will be able to instantly check if the traveler has enough balance in his uh, in your Google Sheet. Wow, that's exactly the first step done. I didn't know that was that easy. The next was to actually get the travel estimates. So how, how would that work? This often takes a lot of time from us because we do have to go through a travel agency to get those quotes on the flight estimates. I see. What if we were skipping this manual step entirely? Because I know that there is a, an API from Amadeus that is allowing us to do this fly search. We're using a web call. You want to do that? Okay, so we're skipping the middleman. I I'm great with that. Let's try it. Perfect, let's do it. So we don't have an out of the box connector for this, but we can generate one in minutes using the open API specs. And I know that Amadeus has published the open API specs for it. So let me create a new spoke in Flow Designer. I'm just getting the spec data, validating all this, and it's done. So now we have an action where we simply have to pass the dates, the location, and it will provide us the flight prices. We can now plug this right into our processes. I see, now it all makes sense to me. So this integration is an action that the AI agent will know how to access and pass in the right values accordingly, correct? Absolutely. And the agent will actually automatically map all the input from the request, like we said, the destination, the travel dates, and call this integration like just any other tool. Okay. 
that that's that's really cool um now that we have all of that what what's next so we can start building the agent itself and it's really my favorite part let's go to ai agent studio um, so this is where we define and manage all the agents uh, you can see already created a few of them for the departments and for ours the first step will be to create a user a use case um, that's you know the use case is like the container for our process really easy and then we can assign one or more agent to it to accomplish um, all the tasks that we have to do. In our case, I think one will be enough. So where I like to start is to use Now Assist to help us to generate all the data based on a prompt. Do you want to help me generating one? Okay, I'm, I'm happy to try it. So why don't you help me enter this in? Yep, this agentic use case processes travel request approvals automatically based on various rules. Yeah, nice. I'm dropping that prompt in now assist. It will do its magic. And here we are. Wow, look at that. It's almost exactly what we talked about. I am really mind blown by how it's reading my mind. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And to be honest, it's done a pretty good job. I think everything is as we describe. We even have some conditions. And you can see on the right, wherever we have the AI instruction icon, it's really where we can guide the agent logics. And we can adjust that at any time. So you told me your processes is evolving with time. We can come back and just prompt in again with uh, the mm, uh, new requirements. Now, so we have the use case. Let's create an agent to do the work. Okay, so I understand it this time. So same as before, we can use now assist to create this agent. Exactly. It's just a slightly more detailed uh, this time, and it will just build our agent with all the goals, the instruction, and everything. So let's do it together. And here we are. Ooh, actually it did a great job opening in it. I don't think I need to do any changes here. Okay, next step, we have now the use case, the agent, we need to give it the tools. Okay, so I guess this time around for the agent, these will be the tools that we are adding from what we created before this, correct? Spot on. And look at the tool suggestion. Here is our spreadsheet subflow, uh, the flight search integration, and even found like an existing approval subflow that I built for another department that we can reuse here. And you know, like all of this, they are now uh, reusable across any agents. That's really great for me to scale. Got it. So I guess you just select from the list of suggested tools now. That's correct. And you have one more step. Um, it was a famous policy check that you were mentioning. You showed me the article in the knowledge base. So what we can do here is to add a search retrieval tool that will allow the agent to scan all the policies. So we can see that we have actually a lot of options. We could do like a custom GNI skill or even a web search. But here we know we need the one for our existing knowledge base because as you show me, the documentation is stored there. Yeah, so, so that particular knowledge base articles were more yeah. employee facing. But for our team, we do have some of the more extended policies stored in something like SharePoint as well. H how do we get that information into the AI agent? Yeah, it's really easy, actually. We can index documents from SharePoint, Google Drive, actually anywhere, because we have something called external content connectors. It's really allowing us to scan not only what is within ServiceNow, but as well what is stored in an external system. Love it. Makes complete sense to me now. Yeah, and even if we could add um, even more tools, you know, like we got, we could, you know, the sky is the limit, we could go way further. But I think we got everything we need to run a test now. So let me grab an already open travel request. Um, so look like we have one here from Sydney to Singapore. Let me run the agent on it. So I just have to copy its request number asks the agent to process it. And here you can see the backend, what we are using to test everything. So on the left, you have really what is uh, the output to your user. So this is really what we will show. 
And in the middle, we kind of see the logic of the agent of what is currently processing. And on the right is really the technical details of what is the brand behind uh, the agent thinking. And here we can see that it's showing you the region reasoning, the logic, and even uh, why um, he thinks the approval uh, will be done, well, based on which data, sorry. And we can see that it's getting approved by the agent. Perfect. So if we head back to the record, here we are, we can see that it's now approved and we can even see that he has added the cost estimation. <laughs> that, that is just crazy. I mean, you're taking all of the processes from someone's mind and pushing it into the AI agent. But I have one more question for you though. So so how do we actually trigger the, this process for AI agent? Do I have to come into this page to trigger it every time? No, 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 not at all. Now we just have to uh, add a trigger. So uh, let's go here and I will tell him that every time that a new travel request is ready for approval, it will run automatically. Okay. Add a new trigger, which is based on the credit card creation, on the travel booking request, and here is all done. You want to try it? You can just create a new travel request from the portal and see how it goes. Okay, I, I do have the form open as well. So let me put in a travel request from Sydney to Kenya, I think. So Kenya is one of our high risk travel countries. So I'm interested to see how this processes differently. Okay, I've submitted the request. Nice. So I can see your request here. So let's open it together. Um, so if we open the Now Assist panel, that is the agent on the right, we should see that it's working on it. Let's, uh, yep, yeah, it's running through all the checks. And yep, yeah, you're right, it's rejected. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the country is on the high risk list. And on top of it, the uh, travel was too expensive for the policy. Okay. And so, just, uh, just like that, we build an AI agent from scratch, end to end, in less than 10 minutes. Sylvan, what can I say? Honestly, I am just still mind blown. I'm reeling from this. Um, I understand now why we need an army of AI agents with service now. <laughs> the ability to ingest our data from the different systems in our enterprise with workflow data fabric, and then feeding that into the tools that the AI agents use. That makes complete sense to me. So thank you. I can't wait to get my own agents. This has been amazing. You're welcome, Shao. And now let's connect imagination with creation.